Okay, I'm super excited because you and I are going to take some time to just casually familiarize ourselves with one of my favorite pens, the Pilot E95S fountain pen. And it's my favorite color too. I've got them both right here, but uh, all right. So first of all, they come in a burgundy and ivory as well as a black, both with gold hardware. These pens though have a lot more going on than might meet the eye. I don't know. Maybe you know exactly what's going on. I do, but I still want to talk about it. Ow! All right, let's 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 use this one because seriously, this this color is it's unique to the E95s. This ivory burgundy situation is just very E95s. You'll look at it; it doesn't look like a traditional fountain pen because it's not. It's one of these cool designs where it is a pocket pen and a full size pen. So more or less pocket pen in its normal state and then you post it and full size pen right there. How beautiful is that? One time I thought that this actually felt different than the black, but then I closed my eyes and tried to tell the difference and I couldn't. So, but it gives the illusion of this softness. So this version I really, really like. However, this is slick too. Very slick, very professional, very understated and both make a phenomenal pocket pen. Uh, the nib immediately jumps out at you, doesn't it? This is what is called an inlaid nib. So it's not a hooded nib, but some pens have those, because nothing, there's no hood, there's no covering, but uh, it's laid into the grip section in a lot of ways. And then underneath is also one of my favorite things. The nib doesn't extend massively past the area where you grip. And that means that to fill the pen, you don't need to really submerge a large portion of the pen. You only really need to get it up to about here where that little hole is because that's where it sucks up the ink. Another benefit to this awesome, awesome pen. It is a gold nib. This pen at $136 presently is the most affordable gold nib in our store, maybe the market in general. If it's a gold nib pen you're after, this is a great entry point to getting one in your hands. Obviously made by Pilot in Japan and Along with that comes exceptional reputation for quality and uh, consistency in writing performance, which again, when opening the pen up, just the back quarter opens up. These pens come standard with a Con 40 converter with the little rattly balls in there. I suppose you could write with this pen without posting it. I mean, it gets lost up in there a little bit. It's way more comfortable when you post though. And that that's really design wise, it's meant to be posted. So if you don't post it, I know you're just trying to be different and that's fine. You do you, it's supposed to be this way. Oh, wow. There we go. We have just rediscovered one of my favorite things about this pen. This doesn't, it, it pushes to post, it pushes to cap, but there's no click. And there's no, uh, there's no sensation other than this softness. It has these tension bars inside of the cap that grip around both the barrel or, you know, the end of the barrel when you're posting it that just give it this soft, super smooth tactile sensation that never gets old, frankly, like just, mm. That's real good. These are available in extra fine, fine, and medium. I really love the extra fine because these nibs are just a tad bouncy. And if you wanted to press a little bit, you could get a hint of line variation. And with an extra fine, I feel like that line variation is a little bit more pronounced. So that's my jam, but all of them are fantastic. The nib feels amazing. And that little bit of spring makes this a super, super comfortable pen to write with. But I'm just telling you this, let's, actually do it. Well, so this is an extra fine. So it is, it does have a, does have a feel to it, but it's not scratchy. I can just, you know, feel it and hear it actually, but it is so, so consistent. And for such a light pen, it's writing under its own weight too. I could probably drag it. Let's do this test. That's always cool. Oh my God. Look at that. No pressure at all. Look at that flow. Golly, that is amazing. Oh, just love that. I love it so much. I really love this pen. Not biased at all, but I love this pen. Um, and here is that uh, little bit of line variation. See this? And then if you want to press, you can get a little bit darker. So if you want to do that, you can. Don't overdo it for sure. It's not a flex nib by any means, 
but it is a bit bouncy and that makes it fun to write with. So the E95S, affordable for a gold nib for sure, super fun to write with and easy to pocket and carry around. This really is a great pen. I hope this was interesting info for you. If you'd like to check them out, you can find them at gouletpens.com in the nib sizes and the colors that I mentioned. So enjoy, have fun, ride on. <laughs>